Hi Chris and everyone at the Spurs Chat Podcast. Brentford travelled to Tottenham on the 31st of January. Thoughts on Brentford this season? Um, not being a great start. I think losing Tony, um, you know, he's a vocal point for them. Everything goes through him. Um, and I think you've seen that this season. They've not quite been the same. You know, Brentford, you know, a couple of seasons ago when, you know, they were flying high in the league. They haven't quite um, hit that same kind of form, really. Um, you know, lingering towards the bottom of, of the table. Um, but I still think, you know, it's a difficult difficult team to play against. Uh, now, with, with, Brentford, uh, with Tony in, in the side, my um, thoughts on this, you know, Spurs this season have started really well. You know, top of the league, uh, the first few, few weeks of the season, um, flying high, and then... You know, a few bad results have kind of stopped that and deflated that that that, that momentum for Spurs this this season. Um, but no, I, th- I still think there's um, this, I still think they they've got a lot more to give. Um, uh, have, have Spurs this season? I, do, I just I just think they've they've hit a little stumbling block for the last couple of months, maybe. Um, but again, you know, the Spurs this season have been entertaining to watch. You know, Angie. His style of play um, has been it's been a, a eye opener to say the least. Um, you know, I remember that game where they had all those players sent off and they were still keeping a high line against Chelsea. Um, and, you know, it's, Chelsea couldn't find a way until the last stages of the game and, and everything kind of crumbled towards the end. But you know, you know, I've listened to his interview. He's um, he's very um, confident in the way in, in his beliefs and how he wants to set up. Uh, and you've seen that this season, whether that will play a dividend. Um, I think of late teams have kind of watched that and, and, and kind of conjured up a plan t- to battle against that. Um, and I think they've come short a few times, even though the, the performances have been great, for the, especially for the neutrals anyway. Um, I just feel it's, they do need to tighten, tighten up at times and you will get caught out. Uh, you know, Tony coming back, like I said before, Big boost, big boost for 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 Brentford, massive boost. Like I say, he's their vocal point. I think he's been missed. Um, I think you've seen, you know, this is on his return. He got the opening goal um, and played a big part um, in the victory. You know, everything goes through him. He brings players in, and you know, he's been linked with a move here and there, and rightly so because he's he's a he's a big player and a good player. Um, and uh, you know, I think Brentford will welcome his return, and I think you'll see more results going their way now with Tony in the side. Um, Kier Spurs, you know, they have a couple of key players. Obviously, Son's away; he's a big miss. He's he's one of the one of the key players for Spurs, and he'd be a massive miss. But Richarlison has you know hit form of late, which is probably at the right time now that Son's not there. He's kind of taken over the baton really. Um, you know, they bought Timo Werner in as well to boost that um, firing line and, and, and Johnson as well. So, you know, watch the game against Man, City, Man United. Um, played outstanding. You know, not, not many team goals at Old Trafford and, and outplay them. You know, to, 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 to come away with a draw, I think, you know, Angie was definitely more, dis- more disappointed with that. Um, you know, Poro as well coming this season. Fantastic, got man in a match against that game. Great player, look uh, entertaining kind of player. Um, he's good on the eye. So no, I think the I think the game on the thirty first will be an entertaining game. Like I say, Angie's got his way of, of playing, style of playing. He believes in that. Whereas Frank is is, is exactly the same. They both want to uh, attack, attack the game, and play the game the right way, footballing way. Um, so um, yeah, it's, it's a definitely definitely a game I'll be tuning into. Um, but no, that's that's my thoughts on on Brentford versus Tottenham. Hopefully, it'll be a good game for the neutrals. Cheers, thank you. Bye.